I am here again with David Round from Better Price. Thanks for being on the show, David. Thanks for having me. David's an attorney that specializes in defending uh, class action lawsuits, also employment litigation, and trade secret theft and misappropriation. Um, I asked him to come on the show today to talk a little bit about BIPA, which is the Illinois Biometric Information Protection Act. And specifically, um, he deals with a lot of trading security related financial services firms. And since that law applies to Illinois and many trading firms in New York have satellite offices, I wanted him to talk a little bit about the act and some of the concerns that employers should have if they have employees working in Illinois. Uh, so, David, can you tell us a little bit about BIPA, what it is, and well, what it entails? Basically, it uh, it covers the employer's use of biometric information of its employees. And this can be a retinal scan, it can be a fingerprint, uh, it can be a number of different things, uh, and it can be used for time cards, access to the workplace, and, and things like that. And Employers are, are using biometric information because it's an easy way to keep track of employees. However, it is also a privacy issue, and that's where, the BIP, that's where BIPA comes in. Um, and BIPA is intended to regulate employers' ability to utilize biometric information and uh, put uh, certain requirements on them for hmm. notifying employees that they're using it, notifying employees why they're using it, keeping written records and, uh, uh, of the um, biometric information, and it specifically prohibits the sale yeah. of biometric information to third parties. Yeah, it, it's especially troublesome too because if you lose your biometric unique identifiers, you can't necessarily get those back. Uh, unlike a social security number, you could replace a social security number, but if someone is able to copy your retina scan, your fingerprints, whatnot, it could cause a lot of you know permanent damage. That's true. You only get one of yeah. those things. You... Yeah. So we'll be talking uh, later in the series. Uh, next, we'll be talking a little bit about what employers should do before they land in trouble with BIPA to help protect against finding themselves embroiled in litigation. And then finally, we'll talk a little bit about some of the national happenings with Facebook and other uh, entities who've been in snagged in the BIPA trap and we'll conclude with there. So thanks for being on the show today. Oh, thanks for having me.